Yeah, good morning everyone. So my name is Saif, I am an optometry trainer. I handle AP and TG. And today we are going to discuss about the JCC. In JCC we will discuss about the three things. What are the type of the JCC? What is the use of the JCC? And how to do JCC? So for doing JCC, uh, we uh, define two things with the help of the JCC. First is the access and next is the power. So first we will refine the access, then we will go to the power. Right? So for refining the axis, now if you see uh, the axis is at 90 degree, right? So how to hold the JCC for refinement of the axis? If you see these white lines, the white line should be coincided with the handle, right? So this is the correct position. So if you see this white line is at 90 degree and my JCC handle is at also 90 degree. So this is the right position. You don't have to hold the JCC like this or JCC like this. So if you see this is the wrong position, axis is at 90 but my handle is somewhere else. right? Now after this, holding the JCC like this, we will ask the customer ki which position is better for them. right? So this is position 1, this is position 2 right? and we have to ask in which position dot is looking more dark and sharp for them without any shadows. right? So now assuming this position is right or this position is clear for the customer. Now if you see, uh, as I told you earlier, we have to consider the red in this because red is a minus trendical. Now if you see the red is at somewhere around 150 degree, right? Now we have to move the axis toward 150. So we will move it to 100, right? Now again, we will hold the JCC at 100. Now again, we will ask the customer which position is better. This is one, this is two. Now if the customer says that this position is better, now again the axis is at 150 toward. Now again we will move the axis toward 150, it has came to 110. Now my handle will again move to 110 degree. Now again we will ask position 1, position 2. Now if the customer says that both the position are equal and both the position are looking dark and sharp, this is the end point of the axis that means the correct axis is at 110 degree sometimes what happens sometimes the reversal will ha also happen so again the customer will go back to 100 right after that you have to check the vision with which they are comfortable either they are comfortable at 100 or 110 and then you can decide the final prescription now coming to the power refinement for power refinement what you have to do you have to see the axis line which is at 100 and there are two lines right red and white so you can coincide the red or either black with the white line now if you see we have coincided the white line with the red line right so this is position one now if you have to flip it this is position two you have to ask in which position the dot is looking more dark and sharp right so now the customer says ki this position is better that means red and we remember red is a minus cylindrical so we have to increase the power from 0.25 to 0.5 so we will remove 0.25 and we will put 0.5 and my axis is at 110 degree right now again we will ask position 1 is better or position 2 is better now if the customer says both the position are equally better then that means the correct power is 0.5 and the axis is 110. So guys JCC is very useful tool although this is very small but this tool is used to refine our power whether we are giving the right cylindrical power whether we are, we are giving the correct axis or not we can able to justify our own refraction with the help of this small tool. So I hope this video will be helpful for you and behind the camera is Srinivas so I want to thank Srinivas for making this video. Have learning and guys I want to tell one thing if you don't practice JCC you will forget it. So just remember three things I want to uh, wind up. Uh, you have to hold the JCC right and you have to know how to move the JCC and the target. If you remember these three things you can able to do JCC. Thank you.